Hello peeps, today we'll take a look at the best ultra books in the market. I made this list based on my favorites and I'm trying to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the up to date prices and more information about these excellent ultra books, you can check out the link in the description below. The Dell XPS 15 is a known quantity. The addition of an OLED screen, however, may catch the attention of those who want to use this as a media consumption device as well as a workhorse. However, it does eat into the battery life, so be prepared to charge during the day. And if you run this thing as hard as you can, it may run hotter than you prefer. The XPS 15 is still reliable, still powerful, and still a looker. OLED is an excellent option, but not a game changer. That said, with a laptop that works this well otherwise, there's no real need to fix what isn't broken. Instead, Dell just dropped in a prettier screen option. The XPS 15 offers excellent battery life, lasting for more than 11 hours in our video rundown test. That's not class leading, but it's pretty close. Our test, which involves playing a locally stored 720p video file at 50% screen brightness and with 100% volume with Wi-Fi turned off, is relatively forgiving. I never saw more than 10 hours of real world work, but I consistently had enough battery power for a full day of word processing, occasional video conferencing, or any other office tasks. The LG Gram 17 is the latest 17 inch variant of the company's so far superb lineup of productivity oriented laptops that focus on being as light as possible. Powered by Intel's 11th generation mobile processors, the LG Gram 17 mostly allows for fast, hassle free productivity to make your workload seamless. While the LG Gram 17 certainly isn't going to win any awards for style, the laptop offers pure function, posing it as one of the best choices for workplace use. If you can stomach the price, that is. Your immediate reaction to the LG Gram 17 laptop will definitely be how light it is. Weighing it at 2.98 pounds, the LG Gram 17 is fascinatingly lightweight, especially impressive given the extra bulk that the 17 inch screen provides. It's certainly one of the most portable friendly options around, perfect for carrying around in a laptop bag. This is nothing new for the LG Gram series, but this latest model goes above and beyond, even its predecessors in this regard lasting just shy of 14 hours. It's hard to improve on a winning formula, but the HP Spectre 360 has done just that. It raised the bar of what to expect from these laptops now that it comes with an Intel's Evo certification. To meet Intel standards, HP had to improve not only the laptop's performance, but also its design and battery life. In fact, it lasted almost 13 hours in our battery life test. This makes the HP Spectre 360 one of the best laptops out there right now, building on everything last year's HP Spectre 360 model offered. Whether you're concerned about battery life and want something that can hang with Chromebooks and MacBooks during long work days, the HP will be able to satisfy just about any user outside of hardcore gamers. But that said, the HP Spectre 360 takes some missteps. It's a bit clumsy in tablet mode, since it's a bit too big to use in that mode comfortably. If that's a crucial feature for you, and you want a laptop that's as easy to use no matter what form factor it's in, you might want to consider a Surface Pro 7 or iPad instead, which are thin and light tablets that can be used with keyboards. The Asus ZenBook 13 is back for 2021. Loaded with the latest AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors and sporting a full HD OLED panel for gorgeous, vibrant colors and some outstanding CPU performance, but its radon graphics don't quite match what Intel Iris XC is capable of, and the lack of Thunderbolt 4 support and lack of headphone jack holds it back just enough to keep it from being truly great. From its excellent design and lightweight chassis, to its bright and vibrant 400 nit OLED display. This is one of the best looking Ultrabooks going that isn't the Dell XPS 13 and Apple MacBook Air. It's also a good bit lighter than both of those, losing out to only the very lightest machines like the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Nano. The ZenBook 13 stumbles a bit though when it comes to its GPU performance where the AMD Radeon graphics are capable but lag behind Intel's competing Iris XE Integrate graphics. The HP Elite Dragonfly G2 is a laptop we've been very much looking forward to testing. As its predecessor, the HP Elite Dragonfly blew us away when we reviewed it last year. The Dragonfly G2 is the follow-up to that thin and light business laptop, and it promises to be an even more impressive bit of kit. There's very little about the laptop that's explicit enterprise, so don't think that it's got a plain design, because this is a business laptop. It runs Windows 10 exceptionally well, 
and thanks to plenty of RAM, fast SSD storage, and Intel's new 11th generation processors, there is enough power here to ensure that most day-to-day -day tasks are handled well. Battery life is also excellent, with a Dragonfly G2 lasting a whole workday in most scenarios, although we noticed that video calls were particularly taxing on the battery. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9 is the latest refresh of one of the most popular business laptops out there, and this year's model shows why it's such a desirable machine. For those who need to get outstanding performance on the go, in a highly portable package, whatever the cost, the X1 Carbon needs to be the first laptop you pick up and consider. When it comes to the design of the X1 Carbon G9, Lenovo further refined its already phenomenal predecessors by adding 11th gen Intel processors and Intel Evo certification, providing outstanding performance, battery life, startup time, and security features that the Evo certification entails. The 4K display is also an option, but honestly, you'll barely be able to tell the difference at this size, so you'd be better off putting that extra money towards more RAM which will make this even more of a powerhouse than it already is. This is an all day, away from an outlet ultrabook, that can easily go the entire day moving from conference room to conference room at major conventions without missing a beat. What's more, you'll only need 15 to 30 minutes plugged in to get another few hours of battery life out of the X1 Carbon, thanks to its rapid recharge battery. Okay, that's all for today guys, I hope you liked the video. Please tell us which products you'd like us to review next in the comments section. And don't forget to check out the description box for all the buy links of products featured today. Thank you.